Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I will show you, how to send an email using workflows in Salesforce. Let's quickly know what the workflows in Salesforce are. Workflows in Salesforce are a fantastic way to automate certain business processes. You can create a rule, and based on certain criteria that you set, Salesforce can do several things, like send an email, create a task, or update a field. To create a workflow rule, you need two things. First, criteria that cause that rule to run, in this case, when a person's lead score hits a certain number. Second, actions that execute when a record matches the criteria, in this case, an email alert. Now, let's create a workflow. To create a workflow, first go to Setup. Then, in the Quick Find box, search for Workflow and click on it. Scroll down and click on Continue. Now click on New Rule. Then click Continue with the new rules. In Step 1, select the object to which this workflow rule applies. For example, I am selecting the case object. Then click Next. Now, in Step 2, type in the rule name. I am typing my rule name, case workflow, and filling in the description. Then, from the evaluation criteria, select your condition. I am selecting, created. Then, from the rule criteria, select your criteria for workflow. Then select the condition for the field. For example, I am selecting the field, case, claim number, operator, equals, and value, 50. And in the second field, I am selecting, case, reason, operator, equals, and value, performance. My workflow only run when claim number will be 50 and case reason, performance. Then click, save. Now in step 3, add a workflow action. For that, click on, add workflow action, and select, new email alert. I'll add a description here. For example, I am typing to send an email when a case is created, and a unique name will be populated. Then, select an email template by clicking on the search icon. Here, I am selecting the template name RK. Then select the user to whom email should be sent when the record is created and meets the criteria that we have defined in the workflow. Then click, Save. Now, check whether our workflow is working or not. For that, create a new case record and meet the criteria that we have defined in the criteria. Now, check whether we have received the mail or not. And here we have received the mail when conditions are met. So, that's it for this video. See you soon in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get the new update. Thanks for watching.